self-inflicted causes. This is where the caution is. Self-inflicted causes, as, as, as distorted many destinies. Beware of self-inflicted causes that makes God look like wicked. Beware. Beware. Beware of self-inflicted causes. It has caused so much damage, devastation, and destruction to many lives. Hi guys, this is Philip Pollard Media. Welcome you to this YouTube channel. I'm sure this video you're about to watch will be a blessing to you. So can you like, comment, and as well subscribe to this channel. Be blessed by this video. Self-inflicted causes. This is where the caution is. Self inflicted causes. So, when you see any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, blessed by God, keep your mouth. For I will bless them that bless thee, and him that causes you, I will cause. Don't move your tongue against the blessed, or you procure a cross for your life. Don't ever move your tongue against the blessed man, the blessed woman, the blessed boy, the blessed girl or you inflict God's causes on your life. Self-inflicted cross. A lady shared a testimony here from Oyo. After what, you know, washing his mouth on the mission, my person, everything went a wire. God, what is happening, what is happening? Said, what you said. Let not your mouth cut your flesh to sins. Let us sit down before an angel was an error. Why should God be angry with you and destroy the works of your hand? A young man came in from somewhere and he said he was saying some things about uh, this and that. And then God gave him, uh, what is it, what do you call it? Mouth or dog. You can't open your mouth. <laughs> That's like latrine. And the Lord told him where he got it from. So he ran down here. You are the testimony. He ran down here. Self inflicted as, as, as distorted many destinies. Many destinies. Since you don't know whom God has blessed, keep your mouth and keep your life. He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. Keep your mouth, oh, I beg. Keep your mouth. That woman is a thief. How do you know? Keep your mouth. God is the one that bless her. Keep your mouth. Now, what is your judgment? Who made you a referee? In case you say it's not God and it's God, you are in trouble. Self inflicted causes. Is there anybody in this order who know that tithing? It's a requirement to be free from the cause of lack and want. But why won't you? Self-inflicted. Nothing else. He said, you are caused. He said, why are we caused? You robbed me. How? In tight? Eh? Hey. Bring out the title. And I will stop the cause. But he won't. But it's waiting for Papa to pray. Papa just pray. When Papa prays, things happen. That's when the prayer comes to the will of God. Papa can make prosperity happen without you being a giver. This small Papa can't make any prosperity happen to anybody without being a giver. Even himself wants the prosperity if he stops giving. Beware of self-inflicted causes. That makes God look like wicked. Beware. Beware. Beware of self-inflicted causes. It has caused so much damage, devastation, and destruction 
to many lives. Beware. Beware of mocking the move of God. Beware of mocking the move of God. Isaiah 28, verse 21 and 22. But the Lord shall arise again as in Manzarot, when as in that, as, and will be wrought as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his great act, his strange act. Neither be ye mockers, let you bring yourself into bandage. For I have heard of the Lord of hosts, a great consumption will be determined upon the whole earth, on the head of mockers. Don't mock the move of God, you don't end up as mockeries. Don't mock the move of God, you don't end up as mockeries. Don't mock the move of God, you don't end up as mockeries. Elijah came out with that fresh mantle, and 42 children were mocking him. Go up, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Their parents have been telling them negative things about Elijah and Elisha. So they came out to manifest it. And she, he turned back and caused them. You know why God had? It was the will of God. God will not, uh, never answer a prayer that's not according to his will. And two, she, two beers came out of the wood and destroyed 42 of them. That's how deadly mocking the move of God can be. I did the only one. I'm going to do the. I'm going to win schools. What is your problem? Let's see what will happen. Well, let's hope you live to see it. Beware, my friend. Beware. Beware. <laughs> only those who celebrate the move of God become partakers of the blessings. Only those who celebrate the move of God become partakers of the blessings thereof. Only those who celebrate the move of God. Man, I, I celebrated all those folks ahead of us. Without them, I was going to ministry. I, my, my heart longs for the kind of grace upon their life. Seven because they are divers. Second Kings chapter 2, verse 23 to 24. They mocked Elijah, Elisha, and two sheep bears came out in response to the call of Elisha. They said, God, according to the will of God. You won't live one day, of course. That one calls for you to renew your work with God. Renew your work with God. Renew your work with God. Some fellows have made some amount available to us for massive transportation. Can I hear your amen? Amen. There are many more still coming on the way. So we are committed to bringing as many we pick by the roadside as possible to come and meet with Jesus. We give them relief through food and clothing and shelter. We give them rest through access to the world that brings, build their faith. We will bring them to rest. Yes, food and money and all that, we, they are temporary. But life comes from the world that launches them into rest. Uh, they're spending so much money. What's your problem? Did they collect it from you? What's your problem? Just ask Jesus, how much is so worth? When you meet him, ask him. Sir, how much is so worth? He said, my son, wait a bit. If I tell you the world, you might be shaking. It's worth the soul of a sinless soul. So if all of us die now, it doesn't, it's not worth redemption of any man. I'll tell you the cost. Praise God. <laughs> we are going somewhere. Yeah. I therefore pray for the discipline required to be free from self-inflicted causes. Amen. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I believe you are blessed by this video. Stay tuned for the next series. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please don't forget to do so. The next time you come your way, stay blessed.